Hello, fellow travelers. This is Veronica from Human Design Journey, discovering the channels in human design. And we are now at the individual's circuit group, the channel 4323, the channel of structure, a design of individuality from genius to freak. This is a um, very interesting channel. It's... Um, really showing us how to structure once understood and structured uh, by this channel um, things can be shown in a much easier way and understood by the public and then you've been mutated it is uh, a channel uh, that links the throat center to the agent center uh, through the gate of breakthrough and splitting apart in the 23rd gate and the 43rd gate, uh, expressing the individual mind. So concepts here are grasped as insights that have broken through the gate 43 uh, and restructured and then exp understood and expressed in the 23rd gate. This unusual perspective that this channel brings reflects the ability to hold to your own point of view. Uh, the 4323 can go so far as to exclude even hearing what you have to say. The 43rd gate is um, the gate, one of the three gates of deafness. It is the inner ear, ear. So here we have somebody who is really focused on their inner voice, on the loud um, mind, inner mind. And they can feel like they know it all. You know, it doesn't mean that they do. Um, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But here it's implying a great range of possible insights and expressions. And uh, when what has been understood and expressed and grasped successfully by the others is considered genius insight. And what is not given in a timely manner, or, um, hence this is a, since this is a projector channel, uh, it needs to be recognized and invited to speak. So if it's not understood, those people seem like freaks. And anyone with this channel needs to learn two very important things. One is speech skills, uh, public speaking, and being able to uh, reach the audience and explain and second, it's patience. It's a projected channel. You have to wait for recognition um, so that you have an audience which is ready to hear what you have to say. Basically, the ability of the knower, it's part of the knowing circuit. Here we have either I know, I know, I know, or I don't know, I don't know, I'm not sure. Um, this is a very moody channel, and yet it can be uncertain. Individuality has this uncertain quality towards itself. But the knower, when they really understand something, they can empower others structurally because they're able to explain it in ways that people will understand it. And it, the ultimate gift here is to make things more efficient. Um, basically, if they have to, uh, if they're able to explain to you how to be more efficient, then these people have mutated you. They have transformed you um, and it's kind of bringing an enhancement to our acceptance of those who are different and transforming our old values and old order into something new the 23rd is the gate of um, accepting the different accepting the, um, the freak the stranger accepting that there is somebody else with a different opinion. This can be so valuable. We have each a very different perspective, a very different 
way of seeing things. And as social beings, we're here to share our seeing and our understanding. And we have to understand that nobody can see through our eyes. It's only us who has this point of view. That's why when people are in different situations, they can deliver you a totally different story as if they were in a totally different place. But they were actually in a totally deep, different perception. And this is what this channel kind of tells us. It's okay to be different. It's okay to be true to your inner guidance, to your inner voice, to your inner um, inspirational process and to structure things your way, to have your voice. And that's very empowering. So here we have the force focused on one thing, to bring mental efficiency to whatever is that this person is occupied with in their life process. So if they can explain to you how to be more efficient, the moment that they can offer you simplicity through that structuring, they have managed to empower you with that. And empowerment is efficiency. Uh, actually, it's empowerment through efficiency. This is one of the three channels in the body graph activated by an opposition in the wheel. So they're opposite in the wheel. So you can actually quite often meet people who have a sun-earth combination, this channel, um, or in their nodes. It's even more often that you meet people with the whole channel than people which um, have uh, the two gates activated independently, which means that the actual channel dominates much more strongly than its particular aspects. So uh, the sum of its parts dominates more than the parts themselves. That's an interesting thing. Mm. And here we have individual acoustic knowing. It's um, not the third eye, it's the third ear. And it's very acoustic because we have in the 56th, uh, in the 11th gate, um, the right eye and in the 17th gate, the left eye. So in the middle is the is the ear. <laughs> um, and of course they can be um, a great deal of potential frustration in not being able to translate that inner sound into an outer sound. And that's why it's a channel of structuring, a channel of uh, genius to freak and of individuality. So once you uh, feel recognized and you're invited and people are open to hear what you have to say, it's the right timing. And then it can really structure, it can really be efficient, it can really bring an insight, a breakthrough which will be heard. And if the timing is not right, you know, these people sometimes they feel like they are um, years ahead in their understanding, in their knowing. Um, and the um, tribal and the collective is just not ready for those um, insights, which are kind of from the future, from the individual mind perspective. And yet, um, the, the their unusual perspective just reflects an ability to hold on to their inner point of view. And, um, Basically, uh, the, when um, the challenge here is to, to let go of control and allow your mind to process its knowing in its own way and timing. And all you can do is develop a proficiency for explaining what you know simply and clearly. As you do so, the opportunity to express your unique insights, your own genius, will naturally arise out of others' recognition of your gifts. And there is no need or even real ability for you to plan what you will say beforehand. It is not necessary to know what your mind says um, 
or to attach any significance to when it says it. Your mind is here to embrace the knowing and to explore what is unknown. So it can be very mutative, very transformative. Mm, the individual knowing can penetrate and mutate the collective and the tribe when the timing is correct and when the timing is off. However, these people will be dismissed, will feel alien uh, alienated and at times may even be rejected by your, their own unique knowing and innovative thinking because people don't shift easily. So you, these people might have to, you have, if you have this channel, you might have to explain yourself over and over and over again with different, in different ways, with different words from different standpoints before your concept takes hold and your genius is truly recognized. It's kind of an education. You have to educate people when you bring something new to the world and explaining it well, simplifying it, structuring it in a way so that it is understood, it is grasped, can enhance the efficiency of the whole, of the tribe, then it's considered genius. The individual mind will always feel like an outsider standing at the door waiting for the invitation to offer its unique knowing. This is a quote by uh, Ra Uruhu. So the individual process, it um, can be very powerful, but it doesn't work on timing. So be patient. When it comes, it comes. And you can do nothing about it. Then just be. Be your unique self. If you want to know more about the channels, in human design and especially the quantum of your personal design, please feel free to contact me. Would you like to? So you know more about your individual design and the, the synergy of all these energies inside of you. What are your string, uh, strong traits and uh, where you can deviate from your true nature? Please feel free to contact me on my socials to get your personalized report, your personalized reading. Or if you would like to have a Living Your Design course, I'm a Living Your Design guide, uh, as well as a human design practitioner and analyst. So if you want to have a partnership with analysis, individual analysis, or um, life uh, purpose analysis, or some of your um, life cycles, if you're in your 30s or in your around 40, 45, or in your 50s, those are um, certain periods our Saturn return, Uranus opposition, and Chiron return, which mark the different stages of our lives, especially if you have a sixth line in your profile. Please feel welcome to find out more about yourself. I can support you on your way with guidance and um, with coaching uh, to support you to live your design, to live the most authentic and best version of yourself, to get the life which is for you. Not to be the mise-en-scene, but to be the main character in your movie. I'm Veronica from Human Design Journey. You can reach me on my socials. Uh, human Design Journey on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, um, and my website, of course. You can email me at humandesignjourney at gmail.com and we can get in touch. Please like and subscribe this video if it was practical and interesting for you. And uh, I would love to hear your comments, especially if you have this channel, the channel of structuring. Thank you, guys. And... Stay tuned for more. I'll be back. Most probably bye for now. <laughs>